that shouldn't happen to a team like ours with a squad like ours, to a club like us in this league. It's as simple as that. And that's not arrogance, it's not being disrespectful to anyone, but it shouldn't with the group of players we put out on the pitch. And it did. And obviously, yeah, it was extremely painful. Um, maybe added something that I was, I'm from there and obviously I had a lot of friends and family and my son was mascot for the game. So uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a tough day. And I think that was the lowest we've been all season, to be honest. Um, these things eventually, I hope, make you stronger. Again, there were some honest words after that game. It's rubbish. Yeah, the worst one. Yeah, simple answer. I don't. I can't give you any more. Yeah. Keep getting told the Premier League players and all that it counts for nothing. If you can't fight and you can't, you can't win a battle. We didn't win a battle all over the pitch. Simple as that. I think I, I think I take a bit of stick sometimes because it always seems to be me wheeled out after defeat, regardless of how we've been beat. And uh, it's not nice um, to do it. But obviously you have to do it and as captain of the team it's a responsibility that I accept and I'm fine with doing it. Um, but I think sometimes you can just go out there and sort of say the same old thing and we've got to bounce back and all that. But um, I was probably a bit, it was, I probably did it a bit too soon after we'd just finished in the dressing room. Would, would I do it differently now? Probably not. I think it needed to be said. I think even came in on the Monday morning the lads said it needed to be said. A few of them came up to me and said, good, you know, we need that honesty, we need, we need to be need that reality check, I guess. Um, hopefully people appreciated it for what it was. It was someone who was hurting and, and being honest about the position we were in as a, as a squad at that time. You know, when you get into a season and you start winning a lot of games, you think that uh, things will come just like that, easy way, and uh, we just go out and win the games. But uh, all of a sudden we had um, a few defeats and everything was bad. Sometimes um, for a team it's very hard to get out of there just um, because you think like what is different now. Uh, I think we, we did not change anything but uh, all of a sudden we, we, we stop winning games. So uh, I know it's hard sometimes just to realize that but you know um, that's, that's also a good thing for, for us footballers to just see that uh, nothing is for granted. So you can't go out and think just, yeah, today we play against uh, a bad team in the championship, so we're going to win that easily. No, it's not like this. Uh, I think these games against um, small teams are the important ones. And uh, we, we learned that the hard way this season, I guess. I think it was really difficult. You know, I think, well, pro well not probably, certainly the most difficult um, period that I've had as a manager. I think that um, it started at Fulham, you know, I was quite harsh with the players after the game at Fulham because I thought we had a golden opportunity. I think the week previous we just went top of the league and if we won that game we really could have set ourselves up. Um, and I was quite harsh with them after that game. I think that had a negative effect. Um, I was hoping it was going to have a positive effect, but it didn't. And then after the Brighton game, when you lose in that type of match, um, my response was quite harsh again. Um, in, in hindsight, I probably made an error on that so I, by being so forceful um, because I think the modern day player now relies a lot on confidence, relies a lot on trying to get over disappointment quickly and I think the last thing sometimes they need is me being as maybe aggressive and forceful as maybe I was at that time but I think naturally over the course of a 46 game season there's going to be a loss of form at some stage and it came at a a devastating time for us really that, that some of our key players lost a little bit of form um, and as I said I think the players were a bit a bit dented with, with the defeats and, and maybe even my sort of response afterwards. Ultimately people will make decisions on me, on the team, on players, on everything that are out with my control so I don't try and spend any time or energy worrying about things that I can't control. I mean what I can control hopefully is how my team are going to try and perform tomorrow. Yeah, listen, the one thing that I'll never do is I'll, I'll never sort of quit. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm one of them, I'll stay the course. I'm as resilient as you'll meet. I think everybody who knows me and would say I'm a realist in football. You know, I'd, um, I think if, if the club thought at that stage that I couldn't turn it round, or I'd sort of, people talk about losing the players and um, different things like that. I think if people thought that that was the case, then um, that's a decision for them to make, but the, the, the one thing I've always been is really resilient and believed in what I can do and know what I can deliver. Um, and I think that as a player, I was never the type to give up. 
and as a manager I certainly wouldn't be the same because I think that you lead from the front all the time and I think that at times, certainly in your darkest hour, people look for strength. Do you know what I mean? And the last thing I could show to my players or my staff or anybody else is any signs of weakness at all. Probably the hardest uh, period of my Norwich career. Um, I had to play right back for a while because Evo and Witts were both injured. I felt like I was playing well in the centre. We, we'd had a good record up till then. Um, and then Evo come back fit and I come out of the team. So I, me and the manager had a couple of honest chats. Uh, so I, I never one to just think I deserve to be in a team. Uh, so we, Matt manager's always been honest with me. I've always been honest with him. I think we've got a really good relationship, working relationship. And uh, But I was unhappy. But for me, like the answer whenever it's not going right is you have to work harder than ever. And that's what I did. Just had to be patient and wait for my chance in the team, do an extra I think that's the only positive of not being in a team. You can start doing your extra stuff again in the gym because you're not just going from game to game and maintaining stuff. So do your extra bits on the pitch and just try and stay fit and ready for your chance when you come back in because that chance always does come about, whether it's injury or the manager decides to change things. And um, I think he knew I was ready to come back in when I was and hopefully I've repaid that now since I've been with him. And I'm just, it makes you really appreciate playing again. <laughs> I'm just really enjoying it. And like I said, that's why Whatever Chris is throwing our way now and whatever results come, I think we're ready just to dust it off. I am for sure, and just crack on again. I'm enjoying being back in, I'm enjoying winning football matches and I'm enjoying the feeling we've got in the dressing room within the group, so hopefully that continues. Well, uh, I have to say that the first few um, months were very hard for me because I've never played that kind of football um, before. And yeah, maybe I struggled a bit. I was not able to, to put up that performance what I normally can. So um, I know it, it's been a hard time for me as well. And, and then after the, the gaffer took me out of the team, it was just um, it was hard for me because I thought I really try to, to, to be there where everyone wants me to be. But as I said, sometimes it's not easy to adopt that that kind of football, but um, I think even this 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 break the gaffer gave me made me a, a stronger player. And um, sometimes you just have to sit down, um, reflect everything that that happened, and uh, then you go out again and give everything, and you hope you can do better. We were wounded at the time. Like I said, it wasn't just one or two games where we can go right. Let's get back on it. It was far too many games, um, so it's been a gradual healing process. I think it started at Brentford, probably, uh, where we decided we need to go there and be solid, and then it slowly built up from there. Take the Rotherham game out of it, down to 10 men for so long. That frustrated me. I think the reaction from everyone frustrated me there, because I think people expect us to go there, 10 men, and still beat them. I know we won nil down, but even after that, we dominated the play. But I take that one out of it, I think since then we've been, we've been improved, and we've been improving week on week, and uh, if we carry on doing that, you know, we've, we've got a chance of getting to where we want to go. It's great, you know, to uh, play such amount of games for uh, one club, you know, uh, the last eight years. Um, to get that amount of games is, um, you know, you've got to be lucky with injuries and uh, kind of playing most games. The last person who was here was Adam Jury, you know, and uh, for him to say he made uh, 300 points for the club, it was a great honour and, uh, you know, to play in that amount of games, it's, it's amazing. He's through, Adam Drury! He scored! I was always uh, a left winger, you know, starting off with Shelbourne and then uh, went over to Livingston and then with Blackpool. But uh, since I've come here, um, Paul Lampert came in, he said he didn't see me as a winger and uh, kind of put me more or less in the middle and uh, it kind of transformed from there. An incredible journey, you know, starting off actually in the championship with uh, Norwich and uh, obviously being relegated in the fourth season from doing back-to-back uh, -back promotions and then uh, being in the Premier League for three years. Um, you know, the first five years was like a roller coaster, but uh, it, was, it was brilliant to get the promotions and get to the Premier League. Crofts. Crofts now for David Fox. Fox, great cross, Jackson! And Simeon Jackson this time has the goal! I think that game uh, made you realise that we were actually going to go to the Premier League. You know, it was probably a lot of the squad that never played in the Premier League, and to get that feeling that we are going to play in the Premier League was uh, amazing. 
under Chris, I think um, I wasn't playing that many games, and uh, it was tough to take, you know, from uh, being playing most weeks and being being in the squads, you know, to be left out totally, completely, and uh, you know, it's, it's a hard time in your career, but um, you know. Chris was great with me, and uh, it was uh, managed to move on. And uh, you know, after that, I think it was it was fine. So I think in the eight years I've been here, you know, you mature as a player, and uh, you know, you, you you don't think of yourself as much. You think as the, you think of the team. You know, it's uh, important that the team are winning, and uh, you know, affects everybody else. And it's most important that we're doing well, that everybody else is doing well. Just so unassuming, just wants to play football and. I think there's times now where he has to manage his body that comes with, with age and manages games, but when he does play, I think the ma they manager uses him well so that he's fresh and ready to go and do what he does, as he did on Saturday with his goal, and just the way he opens things up for us is different. Richard Lohan, in my eyes, and the two years that I've been with him, has been the most creative player at championship level that I've come across. And the one thing that I say to all the forwards of where's gets it, start running. I mean, because he, he can find you and he will find you. The way he um, feels the ball um, and, and just the, the eye he has is, is, is very a special thing. And I guess um, that, that helps us a lot in, in this championship. I love playing at Carroll Road, I love going out there and uh, enjoying um, you know, getting the ball and trying to make things happen and you know, trying to create for the lads and you, know, you obviously take a step by step and uh, see what happens. Wes has been, ever since I've been here really, you know, everyone loves him. He's a great lad. We have four very good centre-backs um, and uh, of course Russell is the skipper and he has a lot of experience in this club and uh, his all around the pitch uh, is, is very strong and I, uh, you know, you sometimes you adapt this and you try to um, just help your skipper if you're on the pitch and I think he helps me and at the moment it works very well. I think we complement each other quite well, really good guy, uh, funny guy, you know he's comfortable on the ball, he's a big lad, he, he's He's got much better in terms of dominance and winning stuff and getting used to the league. And it takes time for people because we've got Big Mitchell who's come in. He's taken to it like a duck to what, but he can't believe the, how physical it is. Uh, and he's getting himself real on painkillers and, and lots of sleep at the minute. But uh, no, I've enjoyed it with Tim. I think we've done well together. Hopefully we'll just keep getting better together, keep improving it. And I think we will if we keep playing games together. That's obviously natural that happens. But uh, it's been good and our record's been good. So hopefully that continues. I think it was a bit of a turning point because I think we needed a bit of freshness and what I done was I changed the shape and I just felt that I needed to give the boys something to get their teeth into I mean just to change their mindset, to change their attitude, to change, I don't know, just, just to freshen something up um, and I felt that game was a big turning point although as you say we didn't win it I thought we worked extremely hard, I thought we more than merited the win and I felt from that point I had real confidence that things were getting better and over the course of time, I think that proved to be the case. It's, it's not a sense of optimism, I think it's more a sense of uh, um, realisation. Uh, we finally realised what, uh, what it takes to, to, to get there and uh, yeah, of course I'm optimistic for that and uh, we go out and fight for every, uh, for every game and for every point and I think that's the most important thing and also to give something back to the fans because they, they've been so far amazing in this season. I think we've come through it strong as a group. I mean, we're in a much better place now than we were two or three months ago and I think if you look at games like Wigan and Cardiff, maybe even not as recent as six, seven weeks ago, we might not have got anything out of them games. And we are now and we're playing better, we're playing well, we're fighting. I think the fans are back on side with the atmosphere you had on, on Saturday. Um, and I understand their frustrations, of course I do, the lads will do. I think there's a perception that we just go home and we're okay after games, but um, I've been as frustrated and as hurt and as much as, as anyone, uh, as, as, as have the lads in the dressing room, because we shouldn't, we shouldn't have been in that position with the squad we've got, it's as simple as that, but we were, it's gone. We've dealt with that, we've come through it, and now we have to keep building and make sure we get stronger and stronger, and uh, it's the right time of the season to make sure we do that. I think we're in a similar position to what we were last time around, um, so I think we need to make the most of that now. I think what we're doing now, we're putting ourselves in a position where teams will start looking over their shoulder and uh, start fearing us a little bit and that, that'll be a nice position to be in. 
the cross was, was very good from Robbie. I think it was uh, quite similar to the Newcastle game when I scored my first goal. After that, it was just relief. Uh, it was just you know this feeling when you finally score because I had so many good opportunities to score a goal, but I didn't uh, take them. But now I finally scored. That was just a moment of pure uh, um, happiness. I mean, uh, I was. I was in my head, I could have run uh, through the, our training ground and back, but yeah, well, uh, there was another wall, so I couldn't um, go, get out of the stadium. But yeah, um, it was just a, a great feeling to finally score uh, in, in this division as well. So uh, maybe um, this is now a common theme for me, and every time I score, I can head but the uh, corner flag. We'll see. Yeah, it was enjoyable, wasn't it? The goals were. Was something else. Johnny's was um, fantastic. That first for the first 30 minutes, I think it was probably the best we've been for a long, long time. It was uh, well, we just didn't let him out there half. Every time we tried to pass, we pressed, we won it back. Some high quality goals, obviously, could have had a couple more as well. Obviously, it would have been nice to keep a clean sheet. Can see late on was the only, only blemish on it really. But when you win 5-1, you know you move on to the next one. Everyone's everyone's fairly happy. I think we've gone, gone full circle really and sort of gone back to what we're good at. The manager's been great, he's, he's, he's come through it stronger I think, as have the lads. I look around now and I think the lads are ready for anything that's thrown at them. I think that's what has prepared us for that. This season the, the ups and downs have prepared us for that, that anything that gets thrown at us now we're ready to deal with, we're ready to dust ourselves down and move on again and um, you know it is going to take a huge effort. It did last time but how good did it feel at the end of it last time, you know, it made it almost made it even feel better. And this time, with last year and, and the start of this year, what's gone on, to, to go and do it again would be, uh, would be monumental for, for us as a group and for the club as well. And whatever happens from now to the end of the season, we've got a chance of achieving something special again. That's the, that's the goal for us, that has to be. And uh, I'm, I'm confident we'll have the energy and the drive, the desire to do it. This is as gifted the squad as I've, I've probably had since I've been here. We're hoping that we can have a real good strong end to the season.